we will go through friction topic of applied mechanics and the question today holds a great importance in examination point of view and also in the day-to-day -day life here we are presented a question and it is stated as determine the minimum angle alpha at which a uniform ladder can be placed against a wall without slippage under its own weight the coefficient of friction for all surface is 0.2 we are given a ladder ab of length l which is resting against a wall and at the contact surface a and b the coefficient of friction is given as 0.2 now, this is free body diagram in which the weight W is acting vertically downward at the center span of the ladder. The reactions RA and RB will be produced normal to the contact surfaces A and B respectively. Now, as the ladder will sl when slippage, it will move towards leftward direction from A and downward directions from B. So at A the friction force will act towards right, rightward and at B towards upward as shown in figure. Our aim is to determine this angle alpha. As from geometry the weight and normal reaction will make an angle alpha as shown in figure. Resolving the weight W we will get W cos alpha in the normal direction and W sin alpha towards the ladder. We have to use equation of static equilibrium to find out the unknowns. For this, we have three equations of static equilibrium. That is, summation of moment about any point equals to zero and the summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. Likewise, the summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. Here I have assumed the horizontal direction as x direction and the vertical directions as y direction. Now taking moment about A and taking clockwise moment at positive, we will get this W cos alpha into this perpendicular length L by 2. Here W cos alpha is W cos alpha is positive and it's making clockwise movement and we have assumed clockwise movement as positive so w cos alpha will make positive sense and this rb rb into perpendicular distance perpendicular distance is l sin alpha and it is negative here because it is making anti-clockwise sense movement likewise fb so here fb is also making anti-clockwise movement at point A. So this is also negative here and FB is multiplied with L cos alpha because this FB is acting upward at point B and the perpendicular distance from A is L cos alpha. Finally we will get W cos alpha into L by 2 minus rb into l sin alpha minus mu into rb into l cos alpha equals to 0. Here we have substituted the formula of fb as mu into rb. This is our formula for force at friction force at b can be written as coefficient of friction times the normal reaction at that point. For easy understanding and fast doing we can just uh, understand the concept as towards that horizontal point from angle of inclination alpha we can write cos component here and for this perpendicular that is vertical direction we can write set. taking the summation of force in y direction equals to zero and taking upward direction as positive we will get ra plus fb minus w equals to zero and this is our equation second likewise 
taking the summation of force in x direction equals to 0 and taking rightward direction as positive, we will get Fa minus Rb equals to 0. Or we can write Fa equals to Rb and substituting the value of Fa as mu into Ra equals to Rb. This is our equation second. Sorry, equation third. Here we have equation second as Ra plus Fb minus W equals to 0 and substituting the value of Rb in equation second we can write Ra plus mu into mu Ra equals to W. We have just substitute the value of Fb as we have so just, just substitute the value here and solving this we will get W equals to 1.04 into Ra. Here we have equation 1 as W cos alpha into L by 2 minus Rb into L sin alpha minus mu into Rb into L cos alpha equals to 0. Now substituting the value of Rb and W in equation first we will get 1.04 Ra into cos alpha into L by 2 minus mu into Ra into L sin alpha minus mu into mu into Ra into L cos alpha. So, just taking the common here as Ra into L, we take Ra into L as common and we just make uh, another term in this bracket and equating this equals to 0. So, here Ra into L cannot be 0 because there is a reaction and into length this is a finite number so it cannot be 0 so this term in the bracket must be equals to 0 so solving this term in the bracket we will get this tan alpha equals to 0 0.48 by 0 0.2 and on solving that we will get alpha equals to 67.38 which is our required answer so guys, if you think this video is useful, you can like and share to your friends. And for such videos, you can subscribe to this channel as well. Thank you and we will meet in another video soon.